What's up, what's up, what's up? My, 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 Gemini. It is I, Scorpion Reds, Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. I'm here to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October. Y'all already know what it is. Baby, it's cuffing season. <laughs> <laughs> it's cover season. Y'all ready to get cuffed up, baby? Yes. Okay. We are reloading, baby. You know in fall we're going to have it all, baby. I done already told you. Didn't I tell you? I already told you, baby. Listen to me, Tonita. Listen. Thank you to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and the subscribes. All the new people coming through here. Hi, 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 hi. What's going on, baby? I uh, want to send a lot of love and light to everyone. Um, if there's anyone... Oh, first off, want to give a big shout out to everyone that has been sending love and light to the page. Um, I got these amazing tarot dice. Ain't that nice? Yes, off of that Amazon wish list. So if these videos resonate and if you guys feel moved to support, always know the first way to support any YouTuber on YouTube, but especially my page, is by clicking that like button. Watch the video as long if the video resonates and you like what you see and if I'm giving you insight, inspiration and helping you move forward towards your blessing and you want to send love. Of course, the first way to show love and support is by clicking the like button and sharing if you if you care. If you want to book a personal or private reading, you can always do so by clicking the about tab on my YouTube page. Um my booking is there my instagram is there if you guys um want to show some extra love of course like these were sent through the amazon wish list um the amazon wish list is there you guys preferred mess method um has been paypal and i mean not paypal has been cash app um so i did put the cash app link there as well as my paypal link there if you guys you know want to send a little bit of support a dollar or two or three that is perfectly fine because you guys sending the money through Cash App is what um, gave me the capital, okay, to purchase these decks. So we did get some new decks. Of course, you know, we Power Ranger Unicorn puss out this motherfucker. So we got, you know, the Crystal Unicorn deck, okay. And these, this deck is beautiful. Beautiful. Beautifuls. Say it with me. Beautifuls, okay. Deck is beautifuls, okay. We also got... The Moonology Tarot deck, the Oracle deck. So, again, this is through all the love that you guys have been sending through Cash App. And, oh, and for my baby and PayPal. Oh, my goodness, I'm forgetting her name. <gasps> I'm forgetting her name. The Baby, you know who you are. The young lady that sent support through PayPal is how I got this um, Santa... Marte decks the tarot deck and then the oracle deck i'm gonna be using this for the mid month y'all let me tell you i was a little scared to buy this deck because of the skulls and everything you know it look kind of dark man let me tell you this deck is all about transformation about death and transformation because of course it's about the book of the dead honey you heard what i said honey this deck has been doing nothing but being a confirmation to me that everything, all of the changes that I've been making in my life to kind of close old doors and open new ones, man, <laughs> this deck is amazing. It's been showing me like reds, you're on the right path. Keep moving forward. Don't look back. It's, it's just, this deck is amazing. So once this deck, now, if they need to check you, it's going to check you, okay? Put some respect on my name, okay? You're going to have to put some respect on the deck's name, okay? you going to have to put some respect on the name. If it, it, listen, y'all will see. Y'all will see. I'm not going to go too much into it, but I just want to say freaking thank you guys because this deck, these two decks are my freaking favorite. I mean, I have a ton of that Boy, this deck, I cannot... Thank y'all enough. Thank you guys so much for all of the love, light, and support. You guys continuously allow me to put back into my business so that I can continue to learn and grow and continue to push forth the message. And right now, everyone 
especially everyone that's been on my page, has been making major transformations. So we needed this. And when I use this deck, y'all will see it. Seeing is believing, baby. Just listen. Now, and another thing, you can't go nowhere being scary. So thank God I did not, you know, because of the, and, and actually the picture and the imagery is beautiful. Um, thank God I wasn't scared. Rather, I was prepared to get that deck and to see what message it had for me. And I don't regret it at all. So, if there's anything that y'all are going through right now, excuse me. If there's anything that y'all are going through right now, Gemini, where having to close an old door and, and an old chapter and go into a new one. Where it's like, because it's like... You never know what the future has because you, you you never seen it. You never experienced it. You don't know what life is about to give you in this new chapter, in this new stage of your life. But if you are too scared and rather prepared, prepare yourself. Don't let your fears become your reality because you might be blocking your own blessings. Don't be scared. Get prepared, okay? So I think that's a message within its own. Come on, Father. Spur fingers. Spur fingers. Come on, Father. Okay, listen. We're going to keep on going, y'all. Because y'all be know I'm a damn fool. Y'all know I be cutting up. So listen. We're going to say a quick prayer, you guys. Thank you guys for all the love. Let's get into it. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for my Gemini's. I feel like I done already put your message out there already, Father. You trying to tell Gemini, my, 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 Gemini, don't be scared, baby, to close this chapter. Be prepared. Prepare yourself for these blessings that we about to walk into in the name of Jesus. Come on, man. Father, thank you so much for just keeping us blessed and highly favored and keeping us around some really influential people that are literally... Not telling us what we want to hear, but what we need to hear to get ourselves prepared so that all of the blessings that you are trying to bestow upon us, that it can be had, it can be felt, it can be lived in, okay? All right, again, that it can be had, it can be felt, and it can be lived in, and that we are embracing this, honey. Mm -mm -mm. Have you ever been in a situation, Gemini, where you had to say to yourself, Man, if I knew it was going to be this good, I would have did this a long time ago. Okay, I am reloaded. Load up the gap. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? So, that is truly the message. I mean, I really can't even say nothing more. It's don't be scared. Get prepared because God got something so beautiful in store for you. And had you would have known a couple of months ago... That what God is trying to deliver and what he's trying to serve to you, if you would have known it would have been this good, honey, you would have made this transition a long freaking time ago, okay? We ain't being scared. We being prepared, Father God, for all our blessings. We call it in all of our blessings in the name of Jesus. Where's my singing bowl? Come on, let's call in these blessings. Let's call in these blessings. Yes, we accept it. We accept it. We claim it. Call in these blessings, Father God. Listen, ring it in. Bring it in. Yes, God. Mm-hmm. That's right. We're cleansing ourselves. We're cleansing them, these chakras, honey. We're getting that vibration together, okay? We're getting the vibration right on together. Father God, thank you so much for this anointed day. In this day, we pray, Father God. Thank you so much. And give us guidance for the month of October, all right? Because you know in fall, we're going to have it all. So let's not stall. It's time to ball. Let's get it. All right. Father, thank you. Thank you. So let's get into this. Give us guidance for my Gemini. My, my, my. Sexy-ass Gemini. Listen, I might be some bad-ass Gemini. Ooh, y'all so hot to my legs. Girl, you're spicy. Girl, you're sexy. Girl, you're supple. Girl, you're tender. Come on, girlfriend. Yes. Come on now. Mm-mm. Yes. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Bust it out like that. Bust, bust it. Bust, bust, bust. Ooh. Didn't I tell you? Listen, what does this say? I, what I told you, don't be scared. Get prepared. This is the new moon in Aries. Honey, it is time to take action. Like action, girlfriend. 
You better listen to me when God is trying to t listen. I don't need no cards. I don't need no cards, honey. Let me read this to y'all because God ain't playing with y'all. God said it's time to get, get, get it. It is time to get, get it. Okay, let me read this to you. Let me read it to you just in case you needed to you need some more clarifications, okay? It says the flame is lit. God damn it, God damn. It said a wonderful new start beckons. And you are on the right track. Didn't I tell you we was calling in the blessings? Y'all heard the bell? Come on. It says, listen. <laughs> John, this car is superbly a positive sign. If there is something that you want to happen in your life, take this card as a big yes from the universe. Come on, call it in, Father. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first time of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success and whatever your endeavor is asking you about the caution do not go too fast and forget your manners Ooh, treat people well as you charge towards your goals you'll create much better karma for yourself don't even think about giving up do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash. Now, if anybody know a Gemini when they be on their bullshit, okay? Y'all, look, y'all cannot know what to say out your mouth sometimes. Can can I be a little bit honest? Now, come on, I got a sister that's a goddamn Gemini. I be wanting to pop that bitch in her motherfucking throat sometimes. I ain't even about to hold you, okay? I'm a Scorpio and she a Gemini. Girl, when we love each other, we love each other. But when we be fighting, bitch, we be fighting, okay? Okay? I don't know what the hell to say out of goddamn mouth. It's, <laughs> you need a 12-month plan. Ooh, a new male is coming into your life. Hold on, do y'all see that? Hold on, can y'all see these words? It's a new man is coming into... Girlfriend? Don't play with me. Ooh. <laughs> a new male is coming into your life. Hello, hold on. Hello, motherfucker. Say it with me. <clears throat> Say it with your chest. Hello, motherfucker. Yes, God. It's <laughs> so y'all got me on my bullshit right now. Y'all got me on my bullshiggity. It says that Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. So the new moon in Aries is the first of 12 or 13 moons of the year. If you are committed to work with all the lunations, then the moon in Aries is the right time to start. And drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies that it is also an ideal. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, girl, can you talk? It's also an ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting your intentions in the name of Jesus. Come on, Father, and set forth with the glory. Set it forth with the glory. Ooh. I got a song in my heart. Set it off, I suggest. Y'all, set it off, I suggest. Y'all, uh, set it, set it off. Set it off, set it off. Set it off. Uh, oh, set it off, I suggest. Y'all, okay, I'm sorry. I told you y'all got me on my bullshiggity. Let's find out what type of unicorn energy y'all at. Because y'all done started it. The fuck going on? Did they say a new man? A new man is coming? Hello, motherfucker. Hello, how you doing? Hello, it's me. Okay, bitch. What? <laughs> my, 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 Gemini. Listen, because y'all, anybody know Gemini been going through some bullshit. Bullshit. Gemini said, we ain't going through this shit no more. Y'all niggas ain't about to drive me motherfucking crazy because you know I will pop and drop a bitch. Gemini ain't for it. It ain't for it. Jim and I said, listen, y'all about to have me going right the fuck on in jail because y'all got the right and the wrong. You got the right one, baby. Pepsi. Bitch, what? Jim and I said, these motherfuckers got to be goddamn crazy. Keep playing with me like I won't come through here and set it the fuck. Set it off, I suggest, y'all. Set it off, I suggest, y'all. Set it off, set it off. Jim and I said, I will set this motherfucker blaze in here. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Ooh, 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 G Gemini, goddamn it, you done did me, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all about to do me today, y'all about to do me real nasty, y'all about to do me like you knew me, honey, it said the delight, 
Say goodnight to that bullshit. We not do, honey, the delights and the blessings. And then we celebrate. It's a celebration, nigga. Fuck your couch, nigga. Fuck your couch, brother darkness. Brother darkness. Fuck your couch, brother darkness. Listen, we ain't doing none of that shit. No, oh, and back then, uh-uh. 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 We done closed that door to that bullshit, baby. What? What? Where we going? Where we going? <laughs> a new man with a new plan. What they say? Get you a new twelve month plan. Oh, bitch. Mm -mm. They must don't know. They must don't know Gemini. Okay. It says count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. Okay. Always expect the best. Come on. Be delighted in these blessings at the Father. Look, don't be scared. Get prepared. Come on, Father. You don't even understand what we're doing today. And you see that moon in the back? Come on, girl. Do you see what your intuition told you? Your intuition said it's time to celebrate, girl. Don't get scared. Be prepared. God got a blessing for you. Okay? It's a celebration. A positive outcome is a sure. Okay. A yes and a yes and a hell yes. These are three hell fucking yeah. These are three cards that's saying yes ma'am. Miss Pam, we do like green eggs and ham. Come on now. What I told you, we would have known that it was going to be this good. We would have did this shit some months ago. We wouldn't even went through all that. Dumb. Okay. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Come on girlfriend. Come, come, you know what? Let's just keep it moving. Let's keep it moving because we ain't got no time to stall today. God said it's time to move, honey. Come on now. Come on now. Let's get this unicorn puss energy. Let's get this pink power ranger unicorn puss energy. Okay, girl. You, you are doing a damn thing. Miss Gemini. Okay, my, 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 Gemini. Okay? Shout out to all my Gemini males out there. Come on. My, 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 Gemini. Yes. Yay. Oh, the temperance, baby. You got faith. You got hope. You got glory. They don't know your story, girl. They don't know what you just been through, girl. Come on. Mm-mm. We got, mm-mm. I told y'all in fall, we gonna have it all. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna learn to listen to Reds. Y'all gonna learn and listen to Reds when Reds be trying to tell you, baby. <laughs> Give me guidance for my Geminis for October. It's cuffing season. And Spirit just said, honey, you got a brand. You got a, I got a new attitude. Okay, girl. Okay, let's see here. Mm. Oh, you done fell out of love with your past? They was making an ass out of they self. You ain't hung up on that shit snit no more. Oh, you got new options. <laughs> Girl, you got, oh, a king of wands. Oh, you fucking with a fire sign. Goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. Oh, goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. Oh, what? Oh, and you definitely over your, oh, my God. Okay. Jesus, take me now. Jesus, take me the frick now. Y'all. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, that bullshit that y'all just left, you ain't even, you don't love that nigga no more. Said, nigga, I ain't love you. I just love your doggy style. That was it, nigga. You ain't got shit else to offer. Bye. Peace be with you. Take care now. Bye bye then. I don't love you, ho. I don't love you, ho. I ain't hung up on your bullshit no more. Did God take you out of the picture for a second and said, listen, surrender. Stop fighting and just, you know, you have to surrender yourself to change. Let me, listen, God hung you up real quick where you can see something from a different angle. Because sometimes, did y'all see my video when I tell you, are you too close? Are you still too close to the situation that's bringing you down and that you're trying to get rid of? Sometimes, listen, we be a little bit too goddamn close to the thing that is bringing us the most misery and pain in our life. Because we still trying to entertain shit and we still trying to change motherfuckers. And we still trying to make it work. Father God said, girl, let me, let me, you sit up here. I need you to surrender to change. And I just need you, peace be still. Sit your ass, sit down and be quiet. Gemini, because you talk too much. Okay? I don't know what the fuck to say. You talk too much. Shut the fuck up. 
Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Okay, God had to tap you on your ass a little bit and say, uh, go, go sit in time out, Gemini. Time out. Time out. And he was like, God, why God? Because I said, bitch, go over here sit down. Okay? And you ain't understand why God was putting you in time out. But you went over there and you sat down and you surrendered to what God was trying to do. Okay? And when you sat there, you seen something. You said, hmm. Hmm. Oh, really? That's how you was going? Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Y'all remember that that um episode that that little part in Belly where um the little nigga with the um yellow outfit was uh came out of the store and he was eating a banana. He was like, I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. I'm about to drop a dime on that nigga. I'm about to drop a dime on that nigga. That's what God did. Mm hmm. That was God. God said. Uh, he said. Hmm. Hmm. Girl, come sit over here. Shut up. Come sit over here. Let me show you what I just seen. Okay? Because God said he ain't like what the fuck was going on. He said, I need you to surrender to change because I'm about to drop a dime on this nigga. I'm about to drop a dime on this nigga. We ain't about to waste no more time on this nigga. Go on over there. Sit down and let me show you something. Let me show you. Hold on. What fire Marshall Bell said? Let me show you something. Okay, bitch? <laughs> Let me show y'all something, okay? God said, let me show you something. Girl, something that you ain't seeing around here, okay? And you surrender to that change, baby. And you seeing what you need to see. And you said, God, can I get up there? He said, yeah, you, did you learn? Did you see what I need you to see? I, 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 yes, I did. Oh, you ain't got to tell me twice. I seen everything I needed to see. Once I stopped talking and stopped squawking and shit, Fighting for something I ain't need to be holding on to. Oh, I see. I seen it all. I thought I seen it all. Oh, I done motherfucker seen it all now. Thank you, God. Okay? Thank you. Let me get my ass down off this bullshit. Because ain't no love here. Love don't live here anymore. There's a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. Oh. Mm -mm. Let them live here no more. I ain't got no time. And as soon as you got your ass down and you turned the corner, somebody said, beep, beep, who got the keys to the Jeep? Mm. Okay, bitch. <laughs> okay. You got the keys to the Jeep. You riding around and you said, oh, I got it. It's a lot of nice little things around here. Had I known that I have all of these options and shit, I'm a little confused. I'm a little perplexed. Because it's a lot of some shit. Look, I, look, I see. Look, they go fuck city. Uh, fuck nigga of uh, avail over here. Let me skirt. Uh-uh. 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 Skirt. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't going over there. Okay? Because you went through what you went through in this lack love, this this lackluster ass goddamn. Hold on. Was y'all fucking with someone that was lackluster? Lack luster, a fucking buster. Okay, let let's speak the truth and let and let your conscience be free. Okay, lack luster, a buster, and now you already know what fuck niggaville is. You already know what fuck niggaville look like. Okay, okay, fuck niggaville got an MLK Street. Somewhere, a pawn shop, in a liquor store on every motherfucker corner, and some hooker holes on the boulevard. Okay? You said, uh-uh. I don't, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Ain't nothing wrong with the hood and fuck niggaville, but I done spent too much of my life there. I done grew up past that. I done just got approved for a mortgage, okay? And if I got approved for a mortgage loan, last thing I'm gonna do is go buy me a fucking property and fuck niggaville, okay? So don't, listen, don't get disrespectful. If anybody here that's clicked this video that live on in Martin and that live on MLK, I ain't trying to say no disrespect, but you know good and goddamn well in every crack and crevice, in every part of the Americas, if you live on MLK, you in the motherfucking hood. Okay? So don't do me right now. Don't do me. I want you to know me. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to elevate. Okay? Not everybody want to stay in the hood, baby. Okay? Motherfuckers tired of eating ramen noodles. Motherfuckers tired of being on food stamps. Motherfuckers is tired of being around poverty. 
I don't want y'all to bother me with that. So listen, if y'all done got offended, I'm sorry. Y'all can click off of the video because we're going to continue. Okay, with the menu, because God got blessings on our plate. He got steaks and scrimp scrampies. We ain't eating no ramen noodles and motherfucking goddamn hot dogs, bitch. So anybody like to be on that shit, y'all can y'all can make that beeline back on the fuck nigga view. Because Jim and I ain't doing that. Jim and I done learned that. Jim and I done learned that lesson, baby. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no man that's got a real sense of value that really know what love is and fuck nigga view. Okay, so if y'all got offended because y'all like to still fuck with fuck niggas, I'm not the reader for you. Click off, okay? Because <laughs> my bitches, we said, uh uh, baby. I just got I just got this mortgage, okay? I just got approved for a new loan for a new home, okay? And I want the best because I'm reaching for success and I don't want nothing less, okay? Then we don't even fuck with bitches that got that lack mentality, okay? So we don't even do it. So, Rez, continue. You got it. All right. So listen, y'all got all these different options now. Cause like I told y'all, y'all got, y'all got some free money. Y'all got some money. Well, not free money. Y'all got approved, baby. You got approved. It's time to move. So now you got all these new options. You're a little confused. You're like, I don't know if I like this place. I don't know if I like that place. Y'all, y'all know if y'all want to live beachside. You know what I'm saying? If you want to spend all of the money that you got approved for and move beachside and everything like that and live one of them big ass luxury homes and shit. Or if you just want to be modest and just get you a, a nice um, modern house and like, you know, get you a little, uh, uh, a little brownstone with a nice little row house and stuff like that in the city or if you want to live by the beach like you really have options to do whatever the fuck you want to do right now gemini any 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 place that you want like it's not a fantasy anymore like it's not a fantasy we not on mlk no more we not on mlk where every time we look out the door is pimps players hustlers on the fucking corner selling drugs, trying to uh, manipulate women and sell their body for... The, like, no! We, no, no, no. Mm -mm. We got options now. You hear me? We got options. And we confused at this moment because we got so many freaking blessings, so many blessed options on the table. We don't know what to choose. But guess what? You got a king of wands. You got an Aries, a Sagittarius, a Leo that is on the line. Hmm. And he's right on time. Okay? Beep, beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Bitch, he done found you. He said, ooh. My, 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 Gemini, um, did you just move into the neighborhood? Did you just move into the neighborhood, Gemini? Let's go out for, um, let's go out for some dinner, okay? Let's go out for some dinner. Let me take you for a quick cocktail. Let me show you around the neighborhood and stuff. You know, we got a golf course around here. You know, they got, you know, uh, weekend yoga. There's spas and stuff over here. Let me, listen, let me um introduce you to some of the ladies in the neighborhood and stuff like that. Yeah, like they always go out to Two Step Tuesday and stuff like that. There's a club, nightclub around the house, around there. You can, um... Introduce your kids. Look, we be doing play dates and stuff over at this big park. Like, th this king is, like, introducing you to this new neighborhood. And it's like, you're making good new acquaintances. Like, this person is handsome. This person, oh, Ooh, and this person is is also talking to you because they done seen your kids, they done seen your son. They're like, you know, we got a football league over here, over at the park where all the women be um having a little football, uh, I mean, the little play dates and stuff like that. That's why they're introducing you to people in the neighborhood because this person see your kids and it's like they want you to be a part of the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get you acquainted and introduce you to everybody. The king of wands is action oriented so i could definitely see a king of wands just coming to you and just like the king of wands is like in playing card deck it's like the king of clubs like it's a very popular man very energetic very athletic is a go-getter you know what i'm saying so he gonna go get you okay he gonna go get you okay he coming to go get you baby and he's fruitful he got a lot of stamina, like goddamn bitch. Come on, ma'am. 
got a lot of stamina like God damn it. Listen, he look with that little lizard. I what, what's that little lizard called? A little gecko, geico, bitch. I don't know. Fico, bitch. You got a good fico score, bitch. What? Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I just know this this lizard be walking through fire. Okay, this lizard be walking through fire. Ain't scared of goddamn nothing. Okay. He said, "Bitch, I'm a get go guy go. I got a good fight go score, bitch. Let me help you out. Let me show you what's going on." <laughs> and you're like, "I don't know because you know, I ain't try. You know, I don't. And I came from a situation. I invested in a lot of things. I didn't particularly work out for me and in my favor. I'm having to start all over and everything." He like, "Girl, I, I, I ain't worried about that. I, I want your money. I got my own money. What you talking about?" What the fuck? Did you used to fuck up with niggas a fuck nigga bill? Uh Jim and I was like, um, mm, uh somebody been telling this nigga my business. No, he ain't tell you ain't nobody tell this man your business. He just say he don't know no niggas like that. Don't no niggas like that live around here to be trying to use women and do all that shit and that's not successful and uh, okay, that plant seeds that don't grow. What? He's like, excuse me? Uh-uh, girl. No. No. And you're like, oh, I'm delighted. Like, wait, wait, what time when y'all going? You go? Do you go to Two-Step Tuesday, too? You're damn right. I'm the best dancer in the club. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he dancing. He's sexy. Oh, my God. It's a celebration, bitch. It's a celebration. Look, he ain't, he like, he like, look. You ain't got to worry about it. Look, me. And a couple of my boys in the neighborhood and some of the girls in the neighborhood, we always get together for Two-Step Tuesday. The kids get together for soccer and football over in the park. We do play dates on Thursday and shit. So we go play bingo. We go, uh, like, he's telling you about all of these amazing things that be going on in the neighborhood. And he's like, if you ain't got no money, like, don't worry about it. Like, don't worry about it. Just come on. You know what I'm saying? Just come on. Like, I got you. Just come on. This person is someone that he just really want to have fun. He wants to meet you and things like that. Like, he's not too much concerned about what you have or what you don't have. He just wants you to feel acquainted. You know what I'm saying? So, he understands that it's something about, like, the way that you was acting. And he could tell, he could smell on you that you used to fuck with fuck niggas. And that you're going back to the drawing. He, see, he's telling that he can tell that you're trying to start over. And that you're trying to take things slow. You're trying to plan right. You ain't trying to move things too fast. And he don't want you to move things too fast. He really just wants you to come out and have fun and not have to think too much. You know what I'm saying? He don't really want you to have to think too much and feel like you got to come out your pocket for nothing. Like, he got you. You know what I'm saying? This is the page of pentacles. He really just want to take things slow and want everything to... He just wants you to get acquainted into this new lifestyle and everything. And it don't cost nothing. The good friendship don't cost a, a thing. You understand what I'm saying? Good people that really, really fuck with you, they don't want nothing from you. They rather just see you happy. Like, you ever been out with some friends? You're like, man, I ain't got no money. I'm like, fuck that shit, bitch. Come on, I got you. Why? Because they know you starting over. They know you trying to save your money. They know that you trying to, you know... Go back to the planning board to make sure that everything grow right for you. So they're not trying to take advantage of you or nothing like that. Like I told you, it's a celebration. It's a fucking celebration. Look, you done escape and got your way up out of a fuck a stupid ass situation. This is this is basically because the seven of swords is a thief. You were fucking with someone that they took a lot from you. A lot. You know, and whatever the fuck they were doing. You caught, you finally caught up with what was going on. Some, like, someone was stealing money from you. Like, when you met whoever this was in your past, you had a lot. When you left, you were damn near bankrupt. But guess what? When you got good credit, you can make a quick edit. You can make a quick edit and an exit. You understand what I'm saying? This person might have took a lot from you, like, in regard, like it was a lot of wasted time, you know, and like I said, this page of Pentacles keep trying to go back to the drawing board, trying to fix things, fix things, fix things for something that was never growing. You know what I'm saying? So you finally decided this time. 
I'm not going to go and try to fix nobody else. I'm trying to fix myself. Whatever this person got away with, they better be lucky. Whatever they got away with, they better savor it because they, want, they ain't going to take advantage of me no more. You caught someone in an act of trying to manipulate and use you. You know? Um, the seven of... Y'all were... It, like, come on. We already... If y'all been following me, y'all know that the Gemini story has been a tough one. I listen, this is showing me the end of that bullshit. That shit is over. And by the blessings and the graces of God, I truly don't think that going forward, we gonna have that energy in y'all readings no more. Come on, let's call this in. Where, where's my bell? We gonna be ringing this goddamn bell all day. Come on. We calling it in, Father God. No more of that bad energy. We washing it away, Father. We washing it away. It's gone. Mm -mm. We around good company now. Good company. Good goddamn company. Look, this five of cups in reverse. You left that shit in the past that was trying to make an ass of you. Someone was cheating on you. Listen, anytime that you see the five of cups, this is someone stuck in sorrow and regret, pain, hurt and resentment from someone cheating. Three cups spilled over. That's, that's a third party situation. That was someone was too busy focused on what was lost and what was taken from them and all of the bullshit and the emotional misuse of your heart and your generosity. And it's like, I can't believe this person. Like someone's crying over spilled milk and not realizing the blessings that are right there in front of them. You understand? You still got two more cups. And you know, two of cups, that's that soulmate card. Baby, you don't turn your ass around to the... You don't turn around and walk into your soulmate. Okay, you don't walk into your soul, my girl. I listen, y'all better come the fuck on. Gemini, are y'all screaming in the chat? I hope y'all are screaming. And listen, anybody, let me try to tell y'all. And I and, and I have to make this announcement. And I said it to y'all, and I'm gonna say it to y'all again. For all of the people that has been with me, that are still with me, thank y'all for being with me because I hope that y'all know. Never am I ever. First off, I never know what the hell is going to come out on this table when I'm pulling these cards. I don't know what's going to come out. You know what I'm saying? So I can only read what God is giving me to tell you. You know, even though it be hard sometimes, the stuff that has been coming out. I'm not telling no lie. Y'all have all confirmed that everything that's been coming out in these readings is true and it's accurate. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of these readers that's going to sit here and, oh, he's coming back. Oh, this. I'm not going to do that, baby. I have to tell y'all the truth so that y'all can learn and grow and do the best for you. The people, the reason why these cards are coming out like this is because I was telling y'all. I mean, clearly it's right here. I was telling y'all the truth. A lot of y'all have got tired of being in that energy got tired of every time y'all come in here and watch these readings that they are just so fucked up like that but it's like it's legitimately what's going on sometimes people just be sick and tired of being sick and tired and what was going on in the past was a situation that was pushing you to your worst and I can my testimony is my last relationship that I was in Bought a side out of me that I didn't even know existed. Because I was holding on to someone that didn't respect me. And I didn't respect myself enough to know that I deserved better. That I was better than this. And I need to stop trying to fight and put together and try to fix someone. You know what I'm saying? Once I start pouring that love into me. Into V. Into she. Everything that I've ever wanted started pouring into my lap as if it was magic. You understand what I'm saying? I had to believe in myself. I had to I had to want change. I had to know I was better. Ain't nothing wrong with living on MLK. Ain't nothing wrong with coming from the hood. That don't mean you gotta stay in the hood. In the hood, what we're talking about right here is a lack mentality. I don't know no one that grew up in the projects that by the time they get 35, 36, 
they grown and with children your whole life you ain't did nothing but live in the fucking projects come on who really wants that that's not something to be offended by Someone that's growing and trying to elevate and saying, I deserve better. I thank you for this handout. I thank you for the government cheats. I thank you for the food stamps. Because when I was doing bad, I needed it. But I'm tired of staying in social services, doing the redetermination and stuff like that. I don't want WIC. I don't want food stamps. I don't want no handouts. I want to be able to be successful in my own right and take care of my motherfucking self and never have to look back to that lifestyle. This would not be coming out right now. This would not be possible if we didn't have those hard conversations, y'all. I want y'all to be delighted in the growth. I want y'all to be happy at this energy that is coming out. I want you to congratulate yourself. I want you to celebrate your growth. I want you to be happy that you're not hung up on this shit no more. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all are some beautiful people. Some very smart and intelligent Listen, I got a few Geminis in my family, and a lot of them are realtors, are very successful business women that are entrepreneurs, extremely smart. The ones that want to be ignorant and want to do the hood shit, they still in the hood doing hood rat shit with their hood rat friends. It's because of their mentality. It's because of, that's all they feel like they worth. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are air signs. If ain't one thing that y'all are, y'all some smart motherfuckers. Y'all some strong motherfuckers. Y'all some brave motherfuckers too. You hear me? So, I want to apologize to anyone that I've, if I might have offended y'all in the past by kicking in y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? But if I would not have done that, we would not be where we're at today. And it's not because I'm trying to hurt. It's because I fucking love you. You ever have a cousin or family member like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you letting someone do it? You deserve better. You deserve. But when you in some bullshit that you trying to hold on to and you, you don't want to hear that you can do better. Because you still trying to hold on to some bullshit. But just like I said, when you stop being scared at what actually being happy looks like you don't know nobody in this new neighborhood they're accepting you with open arms you, and, and let's keep it honest you ain't even used to being treated like this are you you used to taking care of motherfuckers hmm. right these people don't want nothing from you this one will walk through fire to protect you a hair would never be raised up off your back. He, he don't got no time for that. He too busy out having fun, making money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Being successful. Everyone in this neighborhood is like that. In order for you to be successful and be creative and be where you need to be in life, you have to surround yourself with people that is in the proximity and the place that you are trying to be. Even if you, listen, Page of Pentacles. You don't even have no whole bunch of money and all that shit right now. Only thing you got is a dream and a plan. Ain't nobody trying to take nothing from you. You know? It ain't about no fucking money. The people that you were around, they were with you for your money. They were trying to manipulate. They were stealing from you. They stole your heart, your dignity, and your time. And now that you finally stop focusing on that shit and like I said, stop stressing and move towards your blessing, baby, you finding a fucking king of wands in the name of Jesus. So I just want to take some time. I want to take a moment to just say that to y'all because I know a lot of some of my biggest supporters are Gemini's and in the beginning when I first started this, y'all readings weren't as hard. You know what I'm saying? Like Gemini's was one of one of my biggest supporters. But once the energy started shifting into this bullshiggity, it, it, it got a little rough. But those time, th those days are over. They're over. Can y'all say it with me? It's over. 
Do y'all accept my apology? It's over. You know? I was not trying to be hard. I was not trying to hurt y'all feelings. I just wanted y'all to do better. Because I love you. So if I offended any one of y'all, I want y'all to know that I love you. And this whole time I was fighting. And that's why I, for you, fighting for you. Because you deserve better. And that's why I used to get so upset like that. So I love you. Okay? We're going to move on. Alright, let's get it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Give me guidance. What's going on with this King of Wands here? Tell me about this King of Wands. I feel like you want to have a couple more options in that King of Wands. Ooh, didn't I tell y'all the fucking King Clarify about the goddamn King of Wands. <laughs> Clarify, listen, I told y'all. Clarify about the King of Wands. Listen, this is the King of Clubs card. Didn't I tell you? Fucking stallion. Got the boy. I, listen, you ain't got to listen to me, bitch. You ain't got to listen. And this nigga got a lot of green. He probably smoke a lot of green, too. Look, this nigga got this stick. Look, this nigga on the dispensary, okay? <laughs> that nigga the plug. So, hold on, let me see. Uh, yes, the King of Wands, clarified by the King of Wands, baby. Daniel, son, that's the one. And the Three of Clubs. Didn't I tell you that he is trying to introduce you to other people in the neighborhood, that he wants you to come out and show you a good time and get you, you know, acquainted with the lifestyle and how people live around here? You know what I'm saying? This is the Three of Clubs. You know, this is... This is a car of like moving forward, networking and having a good business sense, like using common sense. You know what I'm saying? And these people are oh, OK. This was backwards. These people are showing you a new way of life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like I'm hearing a doctrine. I don't even. OK, but anyway, it's like they're getting you doctrinated is that even a fucking word in the name of jesus help me father touch my soul right now what the fuck am i trying to say he is trying to get you like acquainted with the lifestyle of how people live here you know what i'm saying um and oh my god this man is inviting you to church doctrinated you see that? Ain't that? Don't that look like stained glass like a church? This man is like inviting you out to bingo. And you like, nigga, I ain't that motherfucker old. I don't play bingo. And then you go and play bingo and it's the best fucking time in your life. You done went and bought all the fucking markers. You done went and spent... <laughs> Girl, you done went and spent all your fucking little coins and shit because you wanted... You know how they be coming in there with the little bucket and shit with all the little market, all the little shit. And you be coming in there, all these snacks and shit. And he like, man, you cook good and shit. Why don't you... um? Make some plates and shit. You can sell plates at the out at the bingo. Girl, you be going out the bingo, making money, making business moves, okay? Bitch, I don't dance no more. I make money moves, okay? <laughs> I ain't gotta dance. I make money moves. If you see me in the streets, know that I don't fuck with you. <laughs> I'm a boss. You a worker, bitch. <laughs> Come on. I don't dance no more. I make money moves. Let's see what the fuck is going on with this. Do we even want to see what the fuck is going on with this fuck shit over here? Now tell me about the thief. What's going on with the thief? The fucking thief. What's going on with the thief? Joker. <laughs> you done seen the light, but you done took flight. You said night, night. Ever say night, ever say night, night, nigga? Never say night, night, nigga. Bitch, you, listen. You said, I done, I done walked into the light in the name of glory. They don't know my story. You done went through the darkness and you done seen the light, honey. Brother darkness. Fuck your couch, nigga. Fuck your couch, nigga. Okay? You said, fuck you. Fuck the horse that you came on. Fuck your mother. Fuck your auntie. Fuck everybody that's with you. You stole my money. 
okay? You stole my time. I don't have a dime left to give to you, okay? I done seen the light, okay? I might have been a fool, but I ain't that much of a goddamn fool. I'm walking off on faith, okay? I got a church date. Nigga, bye. Don't even fucking call me, okay? Even if this is someone, if y'all got kids with each other and shit like that, you're like, I'm what you want. You coming to pick up your kids? Okay, but what about daycare? Where's the daycare money? You ain't got no daycare money? Oh, okay, don't worry about it. I'm about to take your ass to child support court. Get the fuck out my face. Bye. You fucking peasant. No, you don't need to know where I live. Because if you let this mother, if you let, listen, if y'all got kids with whoever this person is that y'all left because you know the joker, like the, the food card is a movement card. That's also a card of movement. So y'all are moving to a new home, a new location, y'all. Y'all definitely moving to a new home, a new location. I don't know if I said that before, but I mean, I'm basic, I basically said that in a nutshell that y'all move. Um, what is this? The Jack of Diamonds. This is a communication card. And this is also a card of high education um, it's in like psychic ability. Like, okay, so this is a card to me if you've, like you just, someone that is just getting, hold on woke you understand what i'm saying you're woke now okay you're you've been awoken to your spiritual abilities like your intuition like when you be around people and you feel your when your vibration be all the way up over here and then your baby father call you and then you be all the way down you be sinking down to brother darkness no, <laughs> where brother darkness is. It's like you woke up and you like ah 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 ah. I don't let people. I don't let people like you interfere in my vibe anymore. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. So you might. This is a card of communication too, of negotiations. Okay, of conversations. Okay, of invitations. This is also an invitation card, and we already told you that you'd have been invited, and you're delighted. Okay. But in regards to this Joker card and this energy that's over here, you understand you having to start over and you're getting away. You sneak, you snuck away, you know, you snuck away successfully. Okay. And someone getting caught, someone getting caught trying to take advantage of you and you getting away from that and not giving a fuck about what his mama or her mama, auntie, cousins, brother, best friend. You don't give a fuck what they say. And they can get cracked in their fucking mouth if they really want that smoke, okay? Because there was a lot of fussing. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of fighting in that situation. You know? I mean, it got ugly. It got ugly. And Jim and I went through a lot. To scratch and pull and get their way out of that situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? You going through this and you finally turning around to them two of cups that was behind you. Finding this one. You got a church date. King of Wands clarified by the King of Wands. Oh, he's strong and he's long, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, let me be the one to tell you. He's strong. And he got stamina like goddamn Bitch, go ahead and check that. Go ahead and check that in. Okay? Your intuition has been awoken. Your spiritual abilities. You know what I'm saying? You just being able to read people's energy. And your intuition is telling you that this invitation that you're being given by this man. And like he, look, he wants you to go out and have fun and go to church with him. This one is helping you rebuild your faith. Like, this is a man of faith. This is a good-ass man. So, like, you might be riding through on your old boo. Like, um, what happened to the child support money? You think my kids don't got to go to daycare or something? Like, you not planning to help me or something? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's going on? No, you can't see where the fuck I live. Um, you will never see where the fuck I live. Um, we got. I will meet you at your mother's house. No, for a matter of fact, I don't want to meet you at all. I will drop your child and your children off at your mother's house. That's the drop-off point. You ain't got to know where we live. My kids ain't old enough to even know how to tell you our address. So I ain't even got to worry about that. I'm dealing with you with soft kitten paws. I don't listen to... Huh? Huh? 
I'll meet you at your mother's house. Okay? Okay? Listen, the five of hearts, that's the divine feminine card, baby. You feeling real girly. You feeling real frisky. You don't got your hair done. You done bought you some new clothes. Some pretty pink Power Ranger unicorn puss ass shit, girl. You feeling real festive and feisty. You looking real nasty, girl. Yes, yeah, nice and nasty. You looking real nasty, girl. <laughs> Your world, oh, oh, hold on, ain't, ain't that him? <clears throat> ain't that him? Ain't that him? Oh, girl, you real nasty. <laughs> you like, hey, daddy, hey, daddy. Look, you don't put on your best outfits and shit, put on your good motherfucking Chanel perfumes and shit. You like, hey, daddy. Look, you don't went and bought you some fancy lingeries. <laughs> hey, daddy, mm -mm. girl. <laughs> Girl, oh, let, didn't I tell you you get some spiritual, ancient ass motherfucking energy? Listen, your spirit guide done came in and said, Girl, bitch, you guessed it. And you was motherfucking right. Okay? I am reloaded. Girl, you done got some ancient knowledge from some spiritual um, guides. Your spirit guide. This is education from your spirit guide. Teaching you how to read energy on motherfuckers. So anytime you be around people that be on that bullshit, your spirit guide be like, tap, tap, tap. Girl, that ain't me. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. As above, so below. Don't, don't, don't do it. So, like, even when people be trying to pull you back into that energy where you was in the past, you said, uh-uh. I done learned about karmic patterns, karmic cycles, karmic bullshit. Okay? And you cannot say that you a divine feminine until you stop dealing with stupid ass karmic situations. Okay? And I done said it to y'all and I'm going to say it again. Do not be calling yourself no fucking divine feminine if you still sit up there waiting for someone to come back to you. Okay, if you fighting with a man and some other bitch and you call her karmic, you a karmic too. As long as you're still in a karmic fucking situation, all of y'all are karmic. This one right here, look, it might say my voice. This one right here, this one right here, oh no, this is Divine Union. This is divine, because you came in right on time, just for me, no night, last or last or free, I don't even know, okay, just for me, girl, he just for you, that's your boo, this one taking you to church, girl, this one showing you what is, girl, listen to me, as above, so below, okay, you went through a karmic lesson and that karmic cycle, that karmic pattern. Anything that's fucking k -k -k karmic, that shit done and over with. Because your spiritual guides uplift you and showed you that you are way better than that. And you ain't got no time for their bullshiggity, okay? Like I said, this is ancient knowledge, okay? A, 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 a spirit guide done been here for a minute. And been here for many years, many cycles, and many pastimes. Can teach you something. You know what I'm saying? So, this is high education on a spiritual level. And you just elevating yourself mentally and physically and spiritually. Period. Come on now. Over there with your pretty ass. Okay? Now, what is the... Now, now, now this that old dust bucket fuck nigga that you was fucking with. Or vice versa. If you were uh, a male. Y'all know. Y'all take the energy high versa. This this old stank puss, stank dick ass motherfucker right here. Mm-hmm. This is the one that you done separated with, that you done left back in the dust, okay? This one is in a fuss. This one is in a, in a little tizzy. Might be a little dizzy. Might be over there drinking a lot. Ain't taking care. This is my bad hygiene card. Every time I see this, hy this, this card, I be like, someone ain't been washing their balls. <laughs> someone is depressed. Someone is stressed. Someone ain't got no one left. You ain't got no one left. Where all the bitches go that you was fucking? What happened? What happened? All the hair fell off your ass, nigga. What you got, something? You got the itchy and scratchy show, nigga. You need to go to the clinic, nigga. What the fuck? What the hell's going on, nigga? You look like you smell. What the What the type of unicorn is that? Girl, this is a lot of bullshit. This is the one that you separated with, baby. He ain't doing too good. 
Well, she ain't doing too fucking good. Like, she can't even go get her weave done and shit. Like, she only got a... What is that? What is that, girl? Listen, let me tell you something. We ain't got no time for it. <laughs> we ain't got no time for it. Not when our new new is coming around. Like, hey, boo. Hey, boo. This is the king of diamonds okay so not only is he about that action but he's about that satisfaction because he's all about royalty he's all about spoiling me honey this is someone that got a cute coin but i already told you that didn't i already tell you that this man had it together this man had it together so when old dust butt old fuck nigga come he's coming like broop, 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 um what you what you you ain't from around here are you you look like you from MLK. You look like you from Malcolm X Boulevard, nigga. What the fuck? Look at this one and look at this one. <laughs> Which one you going to? Okay, you going to fuck Nickerville or is you going or is you going to the new land, baby? We're going to the new land. We're not going to fuck Nickerville. I want that. I don't want that. I'm trying to tell you, don't that look like it'll give you some fucking some bumps on your ass or something like this nigga don't be washing his balls or something like he don't be in the hitting every crevice in the bathroom stall like something this that type of nigga when you walk into his bathroom you turn around when you walk into his house you be looking around like uh, oh my god oh you live in the basement you living in your mama basement what you walk into the bathroom you're like can i just use the bathroom real quick look you going in the bathroom try to call your uber and shit you walk in the back bathroom smell like pisses like drawers and shit hanging around and ring around the top you like oh hell no i ain't using no bathroom in here bitch what do this nigga even clean this fucking toilet in his bed what oh my god toilet um uh, 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 uh ain't no toilet tissue in it nigga how's you wiping your ass you ain't got no soap in the bathroom on the on the counter nigga how's you washing your hands after you take what Oh, no. He like, uh-uh, nigga. You don't look like you from around here. Who you came here to see? Can't be nobody from around here that I know. Because I don't know no bitches that will fuck no nigga look like you. Like, what the fuck you doing? Okay? You don't even look like you can afford to be around here. Because he can't. He just came to pick up his motherfucking kids. Okay? We ain't got time for that shit. We ain't got it to do. We ain't got it to do. Hold on, y'all. Let me close my door. Because my kids is down there having it up. Hey, you guys, can you keep it down, please? Keep it down. Yes, you can have a snack. Excuse me, y'all. All right. Girl. You say you ain't around? You ain't from around here. <gasps> Ooh. This man is going to come to you by the winter time. I really do feel like by the winter time, there's going to be an established relationship pattern especially like this one started out as the king of clubs and then he turned into a king of diamonds this one is making that investment in you y'all oh my gracious let me close this door i thought i closed it these kids is like really down there having it up on me Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now we can get back into it. By winter time. Yeah, that's about what? Three, four months from now? I just heard February. By February, like y'all are going to be in a real strong, solid relationship pattern. Because remember, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, they like planting seeds and allowing it to grow. They don't waste their time and they don't invest in people and things and stuff that are not going to benefit, you know, for them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you really want diamonds and pearls? Do, 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 do. All I can do is just offer you my world. The outdoors. The outdoors. I told you this person tried to take you to a whole bunch of outdoor events. It says go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature. Relieve stress, gain new creative ideas. I'm trying to tell you this person is wanting you to like acquaint yourself like come outside a little bit more and 
know, get introduced to the people in the neighborhood. This person wants you to become a part of the community. And everyone in the community, like they go to bingo. Like I said, they go to bingo. There's a whole bunch of sporting events and stuff like that. Um, they go to Two Step Tuesday. Um, the mothers have their own little group, their little play group and stuff like that. And the dudes, they do their sport things and stuff like that. And all the women come and watch the dudes in the neighborhood do their little uh, flag football or whatever the heck it is and stuff like that. It's a really nice community, y'all. Really, really nice community, wherever this is y'all about to move. Okay. Leadership. Come on now. It says, Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovely and lovingly guide others. All right. I th I'm taking this for this person. Because I already told y'all the King of Wands is an action. He about action. I feel like this one is going to take leadership in regards to their situation with you. They are like kind of like in a forceful way. Like, no, come on. Come outside. Like, you just moved around here. Like, come and meet people. Like, no. like And like, they might even stick the girls on you. Like, look. Brittany, there's a new girl that just moved into the neighborhood or whatever. She always in the house with the kids. Like, go get her so she could come out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wants to stick the neighbors on you, okay? So don't be, don't feel no way if the neighbors come knock at your door and stuff like that. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Aren't you? Like, that's how these people roll in this neighborhood. But you used to being in the hood. And, and, and you know, like how you be in the hood, people be walking by... Uh, and if, if a stranger walk up to you, be like, hi, you be like, man, what the fuck you looking at? Who the fuck is you talking to? Like, what you mean? Hi, hi, nigga, what? Fuck out my face. That's how people with that lack mentality, that hood shit. This ain't no hood shit. It's not. Like, these are not ghetto, ignorant ass people. These are people that are spontaneous. They are go getters. They are successful people. Crystal clear intentions, Archangel Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus on it with unwavering faith. Look, you want this happiness. Diamonds and pearls. <laughs> Look, all I can do is just offer you my world. I try to tell you. Oh, and I just realized that Jack of Diamonds, you this invitation, you being invited by this person. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. I'm loving it. Mm -mm. I love this reading, y'all. I don't want I don't want oh, Gemini reading to ever steer off of this energy right here. Don't ever steer off of this energy right here. I fucking love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. And there's a Gemini that I know watches me, but will probably never say nothing. And you know who you are. You you know who you are. Congratulations. Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. If you ever feel brazen enough to actually email me or something like that, I ain't going to bite your head off, baby. We good. I ain't got no reason to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm actually proud of you. Like, touche, my nigga. Touche. <laughs> touche. I'm actually glad you've been watching me because I can see... You're doing the right thing with yourself, baby girl. That's what's up. That is what's up. Touche, baby girl. Too fucking shay, honey. Give me guidance. Give me guidance. I ain't gonna bite you, pudding. We ain't got no reason to be having no smoke with each other. Shit. The love in reverse. You have the love in reverse. The queen of fire. You nervous. You nervous. The seven of earth. The ten of water, though. That's good. Ooh, the world. I told y'all that y'all moved. And then the ace of earth, new beginning. Come on, y'all. What I tell you, don't be scared. Be prepared. You see all this stuff? Okay? Y'all know what song just popped in my head. Be prepared. Off the Lion King, motherfucking scar ass. Listen. <laughs> be prepared, bitch. Okay? You, was you fucking around with Scar? With a jealous ass motherfucker? Girl, listen. 
You said, listen, love don't live here anymore. Look, love don't live there no more. Because that situation bought the worst out of you. Like trying to fight for an unrequited love. Seriously, it bought the worst out of you with that Queen of Wands in reverse. The, the Queen of Wands in reverse is a temperamental... <laughs> it's like, I, I want to say egotistical because it's like all of this shit that you were doing was because your ego was bruised. And you know what it's like? Someone, someone making you feel like you're not worthy. And you it's like you want to fight and show people, what? what? Like... You're going to respect me. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And willing to. The queen of wands. And I done said it before. Because it done came out in Gemini readings. It, it's not beneath them to go do spell work. To get back at people. And I mean. If you really look into the queen of wands. She is the one with the black cat. And all of that stuff like that. The queen of wands in the reverse. Is not the type of person that you want to deal with because everything that she does is based off of her passions you know what i'm saying if her passions is in a negative way she would do she she will stoop that love and i done told y'all before black magic has most definitely came out in gemini readings okay this person that y'all were dealing with bought the fucking worst out of you you were doing things that and I don't even know what will really make you stoop that low cause at the end of the day all the black magic in the world that put blood on your hands baby now you you, you know what I'm saying you are gonna have to clean your karma for trying to fucking manipulate with someone else's free will that ain't love baby you don't want no love to come to you because you, you you did spells and stuff like that. They might come, but they might come back crazy. They may come back dangerous. You might get more than what the fuck you bargained for. Do you understand what I'm saying? They might get obsessive. They might get controlling. Y'all you have to be careful what y'all playing with. And y'all got to be careful what y'all asking for. If someone don't love you, if someone don't want you, love yourself enough to walk away. And But look, my, 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 my shit just went out. You see how my shit just smoking like that? Y'all seeing this shit? It's time to burn that, blow that candle out. Wh whoever, which one of y'all doing candle magic, the jar, the the the, the jar spells and shit. Y'all been doing some wild ass shit, my nigga. Burying niggas' drawers in the motherfucking yard, and y'all been doing some wild ass shit. Putting shit in niggas' food. Stop that shit, okay? So if there's anybody that ain't up here yet, because the people that's up here, that was some shit that they might have did in their past. Some of y'all, and this is not for everybody, okay? So if you ain't, if you wasn't one of them type of people that was doing spells and stuff like that, this is not for you. And also, like I said in my people having to take responsibility for several readings. Everything is not like we when we read, there's thousands of people that watch these videos. These are not a personal reading. So everything book by book, cover by cover that come out on this table is not going to be directly related to you. You should know what resonates with you and what doesn't. That's why you can have a lot of goodness up here, but then the energy can easily switch because there are other people that are kind of still dibbling and dabbling with that shit because they ain't let go to get up here do you understand what i'm saying i really feel like this is telling you guys what y'all came through in y'all past and it's like y'all are so fucking beautiful you too beautiful to get blood on your hands doing shit like that 
You should never fuck with someone free will. You want someone fucking with yours? You want someone manipulating your energy? You waking up in the morning doing shit that you know is outside of what you are and you your mind is like you don't play with people like that. Don't don't do that, y'all. No love is worth that. Hold on. No love is worth that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I just want to say shout out to everyone that I want to say shout out to everyone that realized that they were too beautiful to allow a false love. If you don't love me, I love myself enough to recognize that this shit ain't worth it. And let me just walk the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? Let me just walk away. I love myself. I'm too beautiful from that. And I'm tired of being angry. I'm tired of... Always waking up with an attitude. I'm tired of being unhappy. This is someone that was in a lot of, in a fit of anger. Like they were always mad. Because the seven of earth, everything that, and, and, and this also represents, if some of y'all are pregnant, like because of all of this anger and this bullshit that y'all been going through, like your baby is past due. Like your baby might be a week past due. And you're like, I just want this baby to get the fuck out of me so I can like have control of my body again. Like, you feel like you a slave to your body because you got another human being living in you. But because of the stress and the drama and stuff that you've been inflicting on yourself. Let's keep it 100. Because people can only do to you what you allow. And that's why I try to tell y'all, and I think in the last video I did, I think the... Only thing I can remember me saying is, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you teaching your kids? Like, don't ever sit back and keep trying to reinvest your energy on somebody that don't love you. Don't let nobody bring no stress and no drama and no fuck shit into your house around your children where you are this angry person. You know what I'm saying? And you, all of that. Anger and all them toxins is being released into your baby. Do you understand? That's why the baby ain't coming out. The baby ain't ready. It's like, I don't want to come. Like, I don't know what the fuck mommy got going on on the outside, but I feel more safe in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need her to get her shit together. Like, let me just chill in here for a minute. Because I ain't trying to come out to all of that drama. I ain't trying to come out to all of that drama. The Ten of Cups. This is someone that was literally just left with their faith. With their faith. And then that's right next to the world card. And the ace of fucking earth. So. Don't worry. The baby is happy and healthy. It's just. Because of the, the, the stuff that you've been. Inflicting on yourself. Trying to. Like I said. Waiting on things to get better in a situation with a nasty, dirty dick ass nigga. I mean, I'm serious. Like, I don't know how to how to do was with you, but right now this person is not taking care of themselves. Like, they ain't been washing their ass. Like, they are just being nasty and trifling right now. And I'm really hearing that this person has some type of disease or something like that. Like, seriously, you and your happiness right now is a testament to your faith. You moved on with this world. You know, the Ten of Cups is a happy home. Happy kids. Happy loving home environment. It's like a lap of luxury and emotional comfort. The Tens is a closing of chapter. This is a closing of chapter. All of that shit that you went through in the past is gone. The Ace of Pentacles is the solid, new, prosperous start in your new life. This is you getting that home. Remember I told some of y'all got approved for a home loan. And that you're moving. And that where you're moving, everything is going to be blessed 
abundant, prosperous, a brand new start. Where you're going to see nothing but long-term emotional victory. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? It's, it's, that baby's going to come out. That baby's going to come out. Look. Fat. Healthy. Beautiful. Bald-headed. Sorry, let me stop. <laughs> you know, why my baby ain't got no head? Because you, stre you stress the damn child out. That's why. Give about three months, the baby head going to grow in. Girl, you good? Like, you hear me? <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? Everything is good, baby. Everything is good, baby loving. Everything is good. Let's get some guidance and love. Gina, I fucking love y'all. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. If you could do anything, what would it be? Y'all are in a dream state. Y'all been dreaming? Am I dreaming? Just let me sleep. Hey, Don't wake me up till my dream is complete. Because I'm dreaming. Okay, what does it say? Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay? Let go of that resentment of the situation in the past with that fucking ass, little dirty dick, crust butt ass nigga with the pissy ass bathroom and dirty clothes. Like this nigga don't even... Wake up and put a fresh pair of drawers on. This person get up and go walk around the neighborhood or wherever the fuck they was going with the same exact outfit on that they had on yesterday. Like everybody don't know that you had that same outfit on yesterday. Girl, let it alone. Remove that resentment because I told you this is someone that is still angry, has some resentment and some bitterness and some you know, animosity towards some shit in the past. Let that shit go, baby. I need you to dream about the future. Okay? So we're going to do spirit numbers. Okay? And then we're also going to use the tarot dice that was just given to me by my loves. By my loves. And thank you guys again. Everyone that goes to that Amazon wish list. Because... I never know when y'all order anything. It comes to me as a surprise. So, like, I used to be coming home from picking my kids up, and it's like a package at my door. And I don't ever know who what's in it. I don't never know who sent it to me. So, if y'all do um, send something from the Amazon wish list, make sure that you put your name or something so that I can shout you out and stuff like that. I typically normally talk to y'all directly because sometimes some of y'all don't want me to shout y'all out. That's why I always, I'll come on and be like, oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'll just say thank you because I don't already talk to y'all directly. And, of course, I always send love back to y'all. So, um... Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all again so much. Actually, this deck was also a deck that was sent to me from the Amazon wish list. So, y'all are freaking amazing. Give me spirit numbers for my Geminis. Ooh, moderation. Listen, take all these new blessings and add moderation. Like I said, don't be scared. Just be prepared. You know, you don't have to move fast, Gemini. Just take things slow. You see this heart chakra, all that green? Green is actually also abundance, success, prosperity, wealth. In the middle, is that? That's the, that's the root chakra. That's the base chakra. That means I am protected. I am aware. I am insightful. I am grounded. So you know everything that's happened, happened for a reason. You taking things slow. Physical activity. Ooh. <laughs> Gonna be having a, a what, girl? Ooh, you getting physical. Let's get physical. Physical. Let's get physical. La, 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 la. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> girl, physical activity. Oh, is you feeling me? Oh, girl, that is the crown chakra and the throat chakra. Well, someone going to be talking to you about some physical activity, y'all. This is very sexual to me. This is very extraterrestrial to me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You ain't seen nothing like this before. 
I do not tell you that goddamn fire sign. Let's get physical. This bitch it ain't gonna work you out, girl. Let this one try and take you to a. This one try and take you to a church date. This one try and take you to the gym. Okay. Yes. He wanna see you in that nice them little yoga pants, girl. He wanna see if you could clap them cakes. <laughs> and I told y'all he's trying to take you to Two Step Tuesday. Like, all of that shit. All of that stuff. I'm trying to tell you, y'all are good. Y'all are going to be good. Especially if y'all just had a baby. Y'all about to this. Y'all about to work that baby fat off. Y'all about to get that body back in shape. Body, body. Ooh, and leadership once again. Okay, I reload it, bitch. You better go ahead and be a leader. You better be an achiever. You better be a believer. You better show your kids what a boss bitch look like, okay? All right? I'm bossing. I'm the first one to put on the track. I'm the step on the beat on the drums. That's right. I don't know the fucking words of the song, but I don't care. I'm going to keep on singing it long because I'm bossing. Mm. <laughs> bitch. Ooh. Is that pink? Is that is that, that pink Power Ranger puss in the middle? Bitch. Are you bossing? You in your element? Girl, come on now. Miss Pinky, Miss Pinky, Miss Pink Puss. Yes, girl. You better stop it, girl. You better stop it. Okay, so like if there's anyone that has headphones on, I'm about to shake these dice. So it's going to get a little noisy, okay? All right. All right. Give me guidance. Give me some last words of wisdom for my Gemini. Okay. Hold on, let me. Shake them around. Oh, this is the egg. Oh, the king of cups. Oh, Ooh, this one is very loving. This one is very doting. This one is very emotionally driven towards you, baby. Yes, girl, you got a king of cups coming towards you. Oh, he don't necessarily have to be a water sign. But one thing I can tell you, oh, this one loves you, girl. This one loves you. He's putting his heart on his sleeve. He wants you to believe. What is this? What is that? How many is that? This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is Ten of Pentacles. Bitch, I can't care. Hold on. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is the Nine of Pentacles, y'all. So y'all know what the Nine of Pentacles means. This is meaning like personal success. Big achievements. Like, so if you guys have been investing in any type of business, it's like an entrepreneur card. Didn't, he didn't I tell you the nigga was like, oh, bring your uh, your plates to bingo and shit. Like, your business about to take the fuck off. It's like, whatever was taken from you, God is giving it right back to you in abundance. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's giving it right back to you in in abundance. And in abundance. Yes, that's the, nine of, that's the nine of coins. And it's, and it's also a confirmation that you live in the luxurious environment. Money is not a factor. It's not a factor. And I told you, you had to be playing and start all over. Give me one more for my baby. What we got? Just a hangman in reverse. Like I told you, you not hung up on that past no more. You not hung up on the past. You released all of your fears. And it's like God did the best thing for you. He took you out of a situation that you was hung up on. And you had to surrender to change so that you could see what you needed to see. So that you could be successful. So to me, it's like this is you saying... God, thank you, because I'm no longer hung up on none of this shit no more. I found a man that truly loves me, that truly honors me, that truly respects me, and showing me how to be successful. Listen, ain't, ain't he the one that told you to go to church with him? Ain't he, ain't he the one that told you, look, got that cute baby fat or whatever? It's cool. Don't feel, don't feel no type of way. Come on, I go to the gym every, every, every Wednesday, you know, come with me. Every Wednesday and Friday, we go to the gym. Don't worry. But you ain't got no babysitter. The ladies will watch the kids. The ladies will watch the kids. Come on. <laughs> oh, my 
y'all got this one. This, this, this one right here is amazing. You are no longer hung up on no fuck shit, y'all. Listen, it's time to take action. Yo, this has been the best motherfucking Gemini reading that we have had in a long time. I'm about to ring this bell one more time because I ain't playing. We calling in all these blessings. I ain't see one bad thing in this reading in the name of Jesus we accept it. Father God, please bring forth the glory. Thank you so much for this transformation, Father. Let all this positive energy resonate through each and every one of y'all. I want y'all to be encouraged. First off, I want you to know that I love you. Each and every freaking one of you. Every one of you. Continue to love on yourself. Continue towards your success. Continue towards your change. I need you to rearrange every fucking thing about you. We ain't on MLK Boulevard no more. We ain't on Malcolm X Avenue no more. We ain't eating no pickle pig's feet. We don't want no hall mall. Okay? We ain't eating no motherfucking bologna sandwiches. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with fried bologna. But fried bologna sandwiches hitting, bitch. Let me shut the... Fr Listen, if you can make me a bum-ass motherfucking fried bologna and egg sandwich, bitch, holler at me. I ain't, listen, I ain't never said I was too good for no fried bologna sandwich. Y'all got me fucked up. Let me stop talking shit. Anyway, y'all y'all did me today. Gemini, I, I love you. Thank you for continuing to loving yourself and being successful. Y'all did the damn thing. Hit that like button, y'all. If y'all want to book a personal private reading, y'all send me an email at scorpionrez at gmail.com or click that about tab and send me a message on Instagram. I love y'all. Y'all keep being great, bitch. Peace.